Hi everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. I'm here at Kim Seng Park along Singapore River and I'm standing here at the spot where you can actually see three important sites that have drawn a lot of attention recently. All right, so let me just turn my camera around and show you exactly where I am. All right, so you can see that right beside me here, okay, this is the Great Wall MRT station, which is part of the Thompson East Coast Line and it is still under construction right here and just behind it here over here all right this is Pacific Mansion which will soon make way for the avenue which is also beside the River Valley Primary and along Singapore River here you see another construction site and this is a site for another iconic project called the Riviera and you know i thought of shooting this video just to share with you some thoughts uh, especially when the nearby Irwell bank site tender results are just released okay so interestingly as things gets really heated up here in the river valley vicinity the Irwell bank road government land sales tender receives the top bid at 1515 per square foot per plot ratio just a little short of the $1,600-$2,800 range but this maiden state land tenders in 2020 seems to reflect the developer's healthy appetite for land especially uh, this, despite the current supply of new launches that are already in the market so I thought you know since I'm here uh, I could share with you a little bit of the history of the recent prices in this area and what are the choices available if you want to get a property here. All right, so you see the developers who bid it for the site at Irwell Bank Road uh, probably take their cue from the performance of nearby launches like the Riviere, uh, which is about 600 meters away from the Irwell Bank site. Uh, they probably would have also studied the sales at nearby Martin Morden, uh, which was another government plum site that was bid uh, at one, two, three, nine per square foot per pot ratio in 2016. And that was a record for GL's S site at that time. Well, let me just elaborate on this project a little bit more. Revere uh, is a 455-unit project sitting on the previous Juke site along Singapore River at Jack Kim Street. That site was successfully bid at 1732 per square foot per plot ratio in December 2017. You know, since its launch in May 2019, Revere has transacted at around low uh, mid 2000s to high 2000s per square foot, with the high floor units crossing the $3,000 mark. Many buyers are attracted by its close proximity to the Great Wall MRT station that is just about 3 minutes walk away. Uh, it is also within 500 meters to River Valley Primary School and next to the newly revamped Great Wall City. It is positioned to be the iconic landmark that offers stunning views of the Singapore River. Okay, then we have Martin Morden, uh, which is also located in this vicinity. You know, Martin Morden was launched earlier uh, and has seen some stellar performance of sales that has gradually risen from low 2000s per square foot during launch to mid and high 2000s with some high floor units transacted at more than $3,000 per square foot. So many buyers are really attracted by the efficient and spacious layouts from the one to four bidders at Martin Modern. And Martin Modern boasts of a vast piece of land that is more than 171,000 square feet. Okay, so, and you know, What's really interesting is that despite the big piece of land at Martin Modern, there are only two 30-storey towers that occupy just 20% of the site area, freeing up the remaining 80% for large greenery. Okay. Um, again, many of my buyers are impressed with both the location and the architectural design of the buildings. And the fact that uh, Martin Modern is estimated to complete this year in 2020, uh, so we are expecting another surge in interest for buyers who prefer to move in soon and ride on the growth trends in this area. So now interestingly, despite the proven track records of um, the returns made from leasehold properties, there are buyers who would only go for freehold properties. And nothing wrong with that really. And if you are one of them, then the AFNIA uh, it's definitely one project that you should not miss. Okay, it sits on the site of former Pacific Mansion and it's just a short walk to a Great Wall MRT as you can see from uh, my current location. 63% uh, of the uh, units at the Avenue 
uh, three and four bidders and 45% of the total units are more than 1,500 square feet. Uh, this clearly indicates the intention to fill up the pent-up demand for homeowners who do not mind paying more for a bigger freehold property. And I have brought several buyers to the show flat, uh, which is not on site, and they are really impressed with the spacious rooms and the kitchens, and of course, the efficient layouts. Right, so for more information, uh, please visit my website, theavenuecondominium.com for the units mix and the floor plans. Um, so as you can see, in line with the latest master plan that brings back the focus uh, to core central region, we see demand picking up strongly in District 9 and 10, even spilling to District 3 and 5, which are next to 9 and 10. Uh, the attributes of prime districts 9 and 10 really need not uh, further explanations as you all know that traditionally the wealthy individuals are always staying and investing in 9 and 10 you know way before marina bay and the boogies and city hall areas start to get into the game so now with the new Irwell bank site offering us more clarity and with great wall mrt right here uh, playing an integral part in influencing the prices of the projects around this area and together with the rejuvenation plans um, for Orchard Road Shopping Belt, you'll see some rapid transformation taking shape in the months and years to come. And, you know, I'm talking about not just the physical infrastructure's transformation, such as the MRT and the new homes, but also an upwards momentum in terms of pricing. Okay, and that upward momentum in terms of pricing is strongly supported by uh, not just the new master plan, but also the population policies and other geopolitical factors that have strengthened Singapore's position as a safe and stable heaven for preserving and growing assets. Okay, and quite frankly, I'm glad to play a part as I help my clients position their real estate portfolio as they ride along with these trends. My name is PK So, ladies and gentlemen, and please check out my other videos on YouTube. You know, whether it is Martin Morden, Revere, the Avenir, Ed St. Thomas, the Iveria, or any launches or even resale listings in this area, I have the information that offers insights that could help you make a well-informed decision. Please call me or send me a WhatsApp message on my cell phone, 9697 1131. And I look very much forward to meeting you soon.